In this video, we will show viewers how to determine the magnetic heading for a flight when flight planning. We will review a practice question from the FAA private pilot exam to illustrate. Determine the magnetic heading for a flight from Sandpoint Airport to St. Mary's Airport. The wind is from 215 at 25 knots, and the true airspeed is 125 knots. In order to solve the problem, we first need to find the true course for the flight. Using a navigational plotter, we can see the true course is 180 degrees. Remember to lay the center of the navigational plotter along the nearest meridian line for the flight path and line up the navigational plotter on the route of flight. Once we know the true course, we can use an E6B calculator to solve to find the magnetic heading. First enter the wind direction of 215 knots, the wind speed of 25 knots, the true course of 180 degrees, and the true airspeed of 125 knots. You can see the ground speed for the flight will be 104 knots assuming the wind direction, wind speed, and true airspeed remain constant. The true heading is 187 degrees. There is one more step we need to take to find the correct magnetic heading for this flight. See the red dashed line at the bottom right hand of the chart? This line represents an isogonic line for magnetic deviation. Due to magnetic variations, depending on where you are located, a pilot needs to adjust for magnetic variation. One commonly used saying is east is least, west is best. This means that a pilot needs to subtract for an easterly variation and add for a westerly variation. It is not displayed in the chart, but the dashed line represents an easterly variation of 14 degrees and 30 minutes. Isogonic lines are always shown in VFR sectional charts. We need to subtract 14.5 from the true heading of 187 degrees to get the correct magnetic heading. In this case, the magnetic heading would be 172.5 degrees. The correct answer is A. We can round to the closest whole heading value. More navigational-related topics including magnetic deviations and variations and how to chart a course for flight planning can be found in Chapter 16 of the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe for more educational videos on aviation and flight training topics.